the last episode of the Sunday Reset so I have decided to run it back I'm going to set up a copy as you can see I sound weird I like I feel kind of weird I, I feel a little bit sick but like I'm going to be fine we're also going to church today by 10 a.m. but like I have a good amount of time to do the things I need to do I'm gonna change my sheets first and then obviously wipe surfaces <laughs> wipe surfaces clean my bathroom a little bit my bathroom is actually pretty clean and then I sweep mop basically yeah. you guys don't have to change your sheets at least every week every two weeks if you're having breakouts that may be one of the reasons in the cup we have ice and milk and then all I do is just add this can coffee this is the Nescafe Nescafe mocha flavor and it's really good it's actually really good that's what i've been having recently because like it has just been really easy really convenient and also really good because the way i normally like my coffee oh my goodness the way i actually make my coffee takes so much time so much effort and i don't have that anymore like i don't have the time to be making my coffee as good as i normally do so this would do give me a little bit of energy so we can start cleaning Deeply traumatized, babe. Ah. I thought you said it was good before. <laughs> Who says hi, John and FK? Best in podcast, sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, I need advice. <laughs> I'm in the state of Higihaga. My dad wants to date my bestie. You guys are fast. talk like you, and that's killing me. <laughs> like, are men okay? So, for context, what? my, da my parents dad, my parents wants to do what? Are divorced. Just listen. My parents are divorced and remarried to other people. Mm -hmm. I'm quite close to my dad. He's pretty much my best friend but guys this past few months my head has been spinning because tell me why my dad started disturbing my best friend after getting her number uh. from me in the guise of your emergency contact uh, uh. at first it was harmless or so i thought at least that is how this man randomly asked me one day if my friend was dating anyone and said that he likes her what Goodness. this baby is my age for fuck's sake this man goes as far as trying to plan a vacation for us thankfully it didn't work out my god never flops it's particularly hurtful because I don't have that many female friends. So I've tried to be intentional with he the few I have. I'm really sad and quite <laughs> embarrassed because this baby is uncomfortable, but she doesn't want to be rude because it's her best friend's dad. She turned him down politely, but he literally calls her all the fucking time to the extent that she started to ignore the calls. She talks to me about what they talk about. I think she's trying to be open. Um, so I, And that's why I know what's going on. And I know she's telling the truth because she used to also tell me what they would discuss. I made him stop because it's just fucking weird and I feel like I'm in a bad episode of Black Mirror. Did I mention that my dad is, well, used to be my idol? He's the best mm. thing since sliced bread in my eyes so I cannot oh, even process the extent oh, babe, of this disappointment. Since it's like when you love strawberries because strawberry flavor drinks are sweet then you finally have a strawberry for the first time you're like, what the fuck is this shit? Mm. I just see him in a okay, whole different like, analogy. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, I should have faced him at the beginning of the Wahala because I've known him longer clearly I told him I was very angry and he also knows I don't have that many friends so of all the babes in the world why her plus this is wrong on all levels you have a wife his excuse please hear this he's unhappy in his oh, marriage I forgot he was married again he apologized oh, for shit. putting me in such he's a weird married. position but nothing has changed I really don't rate him at all and I'm, I think I want to ghost him but guys let's be realistic he's my sponsor <laughs> So I don't know what to do. I have very deep trust issues thanks to my damn father. Yeah. Guys, what are your thoughts? Did I handle it badly? What should I do? Guys, and why are men layered. into disgrace? Your daddy hates you. Wait, no, things, her daddy is definitely things, into disgrace. First, I feel like the, you. the worst thing that can happen to you as a... Maybe she, 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 she had 20, right? Yes, yes, yes. Is your dad getting divorced? Your parents are like, oh, it's God. so dead because I'm like, moving to... No, no, no. I dad got divorced and remarried. But, but um, a man that are middle-aged... And just like, I don't know. I feel like it's just a very stressful yeah. time. I don't want, I'm happy I never had to go through that. Because you just don't never know what they're going to do. <laughs> they're unpredictable. No, but you know, in all the insane. things they could do, would it be there? For your friend? Are you moving to my friend and asking me? First of all, does her friend move back? No, she said her friend is no, But I'm sensing a very clear lack of boundaries. Yes. Because... For my dad to be yanning me, want him and my friend. I'm saying, no, I know what he's, he's doing. I know exactly he's, what he's well, doing. He's trying no. to make it okay. So, because they are that close. He's trying to force it into a normal thing. A normal thing. Like, okay, like I'm having problems with your mom. 
and I really like this girl. What should I Your do? Stepmom. He's trying to he's trying to erode her back. Like yeah. he actually has boundaries. Yeah, yeah, he wants to but what he's trying to do is also like I am also your friend, not just your dad. Yeah, that's so like, I'm your friend telling you that's about so another friend that I like. Do you understand what I mean? Yeah. He's not doing it as per I'm your dad. He's doing it like ah, you know you're my guy. Mm. I like this your other guy. Yeah. And I know it sounds crazy, but he's trying to I think she needs erode to erode her boundaries. Him she needs no, she to actually him. Said she it. told him. So she's just telling she's just expressing her disappointment. She can't do it too much because he's I said to show you guys my Sunday makeup routine. It's actually just like my everyday makeup routine, but because today is Sunday, it makes it special. <laughs> it makes it special. Anyways, I start with my eyebrows. That's pretty basic if you if you are asking me. After my eyebrows, the next thing is skin prep, and I use the Max Hyper Real Serumizer and after the serum I use the Skin Canvas Balm. So this is like the moisturizer. But it's also a really good primer for your makeup. Next thing is foundation, but I'm using a very little foundation. But because it's short, we're using just a little bit of foundation, like really tiny forms of foundation. I just really like, like I could do like only a concealer look, but I really just love my foundation base. This next step is the placement. I use a darker concealer. This is the Save Beauty concealer. It's like two, three shades darker. No, let's just, yeah, like two, three shades darker. And I just put a little bit on my chin for where I want to contour. And then I use it to contour my nose as well. And then I place my blush. This is also the Save Beauty blush. This was not planned. <laughs> I place my blush where I want my blush to be. And then my concealer. This is the Too Faced Bond Spray Concealer. I will just place that underneath my eye. We're not doing too much with the concealer today. This is the placement you spray. You spray with a setting spray. And you just blend. Guys, I'm so bad at doing tutorials. Anyways, I just used my powder and now I'm about to highlight just a little bit of my nose. And that's basically it for the makeup. No eyeshadow, none of that. Just everyday chill makeup.
so this is my outfit for church the dress is obviously revolve and the shoes are also revolve and my press is from miss lola i'm going to pick up my friends so i'm going to pick up ajo first and then from ajo pick up tinoke and then we'll go to church happy sunday bye protected by god i enjoy angelic assistance i am irrevocably blessed I am eternally forgiven. I am. I swear to God, all the time, like all the everything you are, Zaza, I. These are like straight up. Yeah. <laughs>